Today, there will be light showers in Mumbai. Jaipur will have a lot of sunshine. And in Assam, wait, wait, wait. I'm not a weather man. I was just kidding. You must have seen similar weather forecasts on TV. Have you ever wondered what a weather report is or why we use it? A weather report does what nobody on this earth can do. It predicts the future. No, I'm not joking. That's exactly what it does. It predicts what the weather is going to be like today, tomorrow, or even for the entire week. Imagine having the power to tell your mom that you won't go to school the day after because you know it'll be raining too much. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? A weather report has a lot of things in it. Take a look at this one. What do you think the sun means? Yes, it tells you it's going to be hot or sunny over that place. What about the snow? Right again, it tells you that it'll probably snow. How about the clouds here? Did you say rain? <laughs> yes, it shows you that it's going to rain. Mm, what about this one? This symbol here. Confused? It's the humidity symbol. It tells you how much moisture in the air there is. I'm sure you'll guess this one. It shows how windy it's going to be. All these things, the temperature, rainfall, humidity, winds, etc. are what we call the elements of weather. So now you know what a weather report is. But remember, I told you that no one on earth can predict the future. So, if people can't predict the future, who makes these weather reports and predicts the weather? The meteorological department of the government. Okay, so now we know who makes weather reports too. But the question remains, how do they do it? If I asked you to measure how much it rained yesterday, how would you do it? Well, wouldn't you place a glass outside all day and see how much rainwater fell into it? That's exactly what meteorologists do. But like all things, there's a fancy name to the device they use to do it. They call it a rain gauge. And what would you use if I asked you to tell me the highest and lowest temperature of the day? Yes, you're absolutely right. A thermometer. We use a fancy thermometer called the maximum and minimum thermometer to do this. So, say you want to go on a two-day trip to Goa. Wouldn't you look at the weather reports for those two days? Just to make sure it's nice and sunny. But what if I wanted to go for the trip three months later or a year later? Would a weather report be able to give that much information? Here is where climate helps us out. The climate of a place tells us how the weather is usually like there. So if it rains a lot in your town, what would the climate be? <laughs> yes, wet climate. Places like Meghalaya have wet climate. Have you heard of Rajasthan? It's a desert region. It's hot and dry there most of the time. So what would you call the climate there? Absolutely right. Hot and dry climate. What about places like Jammu and Kashmir? Hmm? Which are near the mountains and have hills covered in snow? <laughs> yes, it has cold climate. That reminds me, I have to start packing for my trip to Alaska. The weather report shows it's going to be really cold there. I'd better take a lot of warm clothes. I'll see you after I get back. Bye-bye.